Okay, this is going to be a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial on how to configure your user profile. Now, I configured this um, last week, I believe, or so, whenever, and I've recharged it several times. And the user profiles have saved. They don't reset at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did, and if you sh and if you follow this, and you've also updated the firmware to 1.14 you should be okay from what I know there is no bug okay so I, I, anyway, I'm just gonna show you what I've done and uh, hopefully this will help others who have had problems um, using the unity app um, okay so first of all what you do is you gotta just first turn on your saber Okay, once that's done, you go to your app, search for smart savers, that should pop up. And that does happen, hit saber configuration. Let's try that again, just hit that. Okay, so now once once you hear that, save configuration. Okay, and to know for sure that if you're connected, your volume, and we are connected. Now I mentioned earlier that uh, once you've updated your the file, it should be 1.14, and that does reflect 1.14. Okay, on the and that uh, update is available on their site. I will link that link below in the description. Okay. Now, um, okay, let's go to configure. I'm going to change one of the profiles. Well, the color anyway. So let's go to user profiles. Okay. Say, for instance, I'm going to change the very first one. Young, youngling. Okay, you. Pr Press on the youngling, not Aurora, because that would, if you press on the word Aurora, that's, you're going to be editing that title, that user profile. So press youngling to choose that. Okay, once you've done that, go back. And what I usually do is, I just want to lower this one down so you can hear me. I go to, this is my methods, so I can just go in order so I don't forget anything. I go to Kinetic Engine, okay. Now here you can choose, you can set whatever you want. I'm just leaving all of these because these are relative to whomever wants to use whatever setting they want. So I'm just going to the, ma to the main ones, which is in this case the motion profile. You, you can, you have a choice of Classic, hybrid, or smooth. Okay, I'm gonna stick to smooth, so I'm just gonna choose that. Leave it at that. And is there anything else I wanna change? Now, for those who want um, the uh, blaster, blaster shop, blaster lockup, like the manual one, where you just press button and it'll go. Psh, psh, Make sure that this is checked off. Otherwise, if you don't and you press this button, button it's gonna have that um, that uh, clashing sound and not the blaster shot. Okay. And there's also another button that that I'll show that you have to check in order for the blaster shot to to work. Okay. So once you've chosen whatever settings you've wanted, okay, the main one being your motion profile go back okay so now you go to blade settings this is where you choose your color okay this was youngling was i think i believe was red so i'm going to change that because i have too many reds in this profile um so go to configure let's say i want to change this 
this was the pre I did the screen because this was previously I previously had done the uh, Raspberry. So I want to see. I don't know. Let's say orange. I want to try orange. Yeah, let's try this one here. So once you've chosen whatever color you wanted, and you can you can um, change it somewhat using this if you want it more. You know your own custom customized colors. Once you've chosen whatever you want, make sure you press this this one here in order to save that particular color. Okay, so I press that. Okay, really important. You press that in order to save it. It's in, now once you've you're satisfied with whatever color you want, again go back. And here you can choose your pixel uh, pixel profile. You want flicker. This one here is yeah flickering. Unstable. Can't really. The camera's not really picking it up. Um, flame. Vegas. We have like a bunch of different colors. Unfortunately, not picking up. Flicker. I'm gonna stick with fl flicker for now. Now you'll notice it's flickering. That's too much. So I want to change. I would want to change the uh, the flicker setup to go more with in line with the orange. So it's not gonna be as prominent as you see here. Okay. So we go here. So you can you can see it's like green. So I don't wanna. I want it more close to um to orange. So let's go. Here to uh, ease that up. Again, press this to save. Uh, it's not bad. This is more of an orange effect, so it's not as prominent. Go. And let's get to orange, yellow for me. Let's dial that back a bit. Uh, let's see if I can just do a little. That's too much. Yeah. Alright, there. Yeah, then this is just a demo. I'll probably be changing this again afterwards. Press to save. You know what? Let's just go for that for now. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm going to dial down the uh, white. I don't like that. Yeah. Again, every time you make a change, make sure to press this in order to save it. Okay. Okay, so, so that's what we have. So now you go back. Um, what else is there? Clash setup again. I leave it at white because I like white. So if you want, but if you want to change that, um, just change it. But if you want white, bring all of your RG and RGB all the way to the right, and then press again. Press this to save. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm happy with that. So I can go back. Um, whatever. Okay, that's done. Go back. Then this is the one I was talking about. You go to switch settings in order to set up your the blaster block button, which, you, which is this one here. So you have to ensure that this is checked off the manual manual blaster mode in conjunction with the the auto clash up that one wrote previous that I pre previously shown before. So make sure that's checked. Make any changes you want here. Okay. Again, that's based on the user, so that's relative. I'll leave it. I'm gonna just leave it that because I'm happy with what I have. So now you go back. Oops, let's try that again. Go back. So pretty much, as far as I know, everything's all set. I'm gonna leave the volume as is because it's pretty. It's my time right now, so I don't wanna wake up anybody, anyone. So you, now you go to user profiles. Okay, so. This is what we were editing. Now you go to Aurora. I wanna. Now this is really important. You have to edit the profile name all the time. Every time you make a change, always edit it. Otherwise, you won't be able to save the user profile. So you tap on the word Aurora. Oops. Sounds like. All right, and you edit it. Choose Aurora. Aurora. 
done. And once that's done, edit. Now it'll save it. Just give it a few seconds. Okay, so now you see, I, I like I said, I chose the volume to be low. And that's the color that was that I chose. Okay, so that's. I'm oh, sorry. And that's pretty much it. And you do that for each and every one of your profiles. Okay, and so this is your best blaster block, not the auto clash. Okay, so it. So that's now yellow. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, it's. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, just uh, comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. I um, hope this has helped because it, it does work. It's not bugged. <laughs> I've heard people say it's it's a bug board. And it's not. I've charged this many times over, many times over, and um, profiles have saved. I can even go through it here if you want. Um, that's, that's you know let's, let's just do that now. Just let me just fire this up now. So now we're in Respite, so the next one should be Imperial, Ice, and, and so forth, then it'll obviously go all the way to the, to the next one. I have two Respites. <laughs> anyway. I should have chosen none of their... Uh... Anyway. Let's just... Now you go to profile and we should be able to toggle through each one of them. Kinetic. Okay. So we started here at the top. Next is kinetic, as you can see. Kinetic. Next one. Erlam. Seagill. And again, we did uh, rest blade. <laughs> Not the rest blade, so I will. element as you can see So that, guys, it does work. Okay, the board is not bugged. Um, hopefully, those step-by-step -step instructions work for you. If you follow them to the T, it should work. Uh, I don't know what else to say. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, again, like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, comment below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.